So the other day I got a question from one of my viewers and the question was how do parallel wires have the same geometry as a magnet? Um, so through trying to answer this question I made an interesting discovery and I wanted to, to show this to you. So I want to go back to this picture because this is a uh, part of the story. This is a picture of um, from uh, the book by Charles Proteus Steinmetz um, and this is supposedly the field geometry around uh, two parallel wires. So uh, the wires would be these black dots here and according to Charles Proteus Steinmetz there are two fields around uh, in this situation. There's the magnetic field and the dielectric field. Okay. So the magnetic and the dielectric field of the conductors both are included in the term electric field according to Charles Proteus Steinmetz and are the two components of the electric field of the conductor. So the conductor is the two wires. The dielectric field are these dashed lines and the magnetic field are these circular lines. Okay, so according to Steinmetz, this is the electric field uh, surrounding in and around a wire. Okay, so for the sake of this discussion, I'm going to switch to this picture because it's color coded. Uh, I can, instead of saying dashed lines and solid lines, I can say the blue lines and the red lines. So the blue lines are the dielectric, and these are the lines that terminate on the wires and the red lines are supposedly the magnetic and these are the lines that the field lines that surround the wires. Okay, so you know this is uh, basically going to be our starting point for this uh, discussion. So here we have on the left we have a picture of a magnet. So historically the only way we could look at the field lines around a magnet were with iron filings. Okay, so here is a picture of a magnet with iron filings. And it does kind of look similar to this image on the right. Um, in fact, it looks like the blue lines. It looks like the iron filings seem to be lining up in a similar configuration to the blue lines in this picture. And the blue lines are the lines that terminate on the conductors and therefore these are the, this is the dielectric field. So Ken Wheeler often says the magnetic field is a dielectric field. The magnetic field is a dielectric field. Well here it kind of looks like, to me it looks like, the magnetic field is the dielectric field in this particular uh, drawing um, which is analogous to exactly the same as the diagram from Steinmetz, the Steinmetz book. Okay, so that's fine. We're very, all very familiar with this, um, with this configuration with the iron filings under uh, a magnet, the influence of a magnet. Okay, so now we're going to look at a conductor. Okay, here is a coil of wire that's um, being passed through a piece of paper and on the piece of paper are the iron filings and interestingly here the field that we that we see that the iron filings are marking out look more like the red lines in this diagram so it looks more like these circular lines of force that Charles Proteus Steinmetz calls the magnetic field. Okay, so no one's arguing that this is uh, not a magnetic field. This is a magnetic field uh, surrounding the the wires of this uh, coil. Okay, so that's kind of interesting that the coil creates the magnetic field and the magnet uh, creates the dielectric field according to this particular diagram. Okay, so let's have a look at everything together. 
So on the left is the coil, on the right is the magnet. The magnet looks like the blue lines and the coil looks like the red lines. So that's kind of interesting. It seems to be these uh, two things seem to be doing uh, inverse things. They're not doing the same thing. They're doing something different. Okay, so like I said before, before we had the ferro cell, the only way we could really look at magnetic field lines was with iron filings. But now we have the ferro cell. So here's an image I took. I built a ferro cell and this is my picture that I took. Actually, it turned out pretty good. I'm quite happy with it. Um, and so you can see that under the ferro cell, so this is a magnet under the ferro cell, that it seems to be, um, it seems to be showing the red lines. So it looks like the lines that are going between and around the wires. Okay, so this would be the North Pole, this would be the South Pole, or vice versa. Um, so it, it, it kind of looks like the wires are the North and South Pole, and that the magnetic field lines uh, that are being shown with the ferro cell. Now before, uh, so this is a magnet here, looking at the magnet with the iron filings, it looks like a dielectric field, and looking at the magnet under the ferro cell, it looks like a magnetic field. So that's kind of interesting. That uh, really confused me for a while. I, when I was just looking at the iron filings, um, I was a little confused. So why would they be generating a different picture? And now it looks like the ferro cell is giving us the magnetic field, okay, with the magnet. And here is a picture uh, putting the two together again. So here is a magnet. Um, uh, this is just a picture I did with Photoshop. It's not, uh, wasn't done together, but I just took a magnet and overlaid it. So I took a ferrocell image and overlaid it with iron filings to show both at the same time. And so you can see that when you do that, you see the, the complete field geometry where the ferrocell shows you the circular lines and the iron filings show the blue lines, the dielectric, uh, according to Steinmetz. And then just, just to prove that I'm not doing anything hokey here, here is a picture I took with a ferro cell. This is my image with my ferro cell with a magnet. And I've just sprinkled some filings onto the glass. And uh, so you can see that the ferro cell lines do look like these red lines. And the iron filings do seem to be matching up with the blue lines. And so you see the complete field geometry and of course, um, you got these little black regions here, the little black holes or whatever you want to call them that seem to match up with the wires. Okay, so that, you know, that's kind of interesting that you can see the whole thing here. So, the only thing we haven't seen yet is an inductor under the influence of a ferro cell. Now, I had a difficult time finding this picture uh, this was taken by Brian Kerr, and I know he had a lot of trouble getting the ferro cell to work with the inductor because the, the field is not very strong. And so interestingly, and this was the missing piece of the puzzle, and as soon as I had this piece of the puzzle, I went, oh, I know what's going on here. Okay, so the inductor under the influence of a ferro cell is, looks like the magnet the magnet under the influence of the iron filings or sorry the iron filings under the influence of the magnet compared to the ferro cell under the influence of a an inductant an inductor or a, a coil okay so it looks like the coil now ken wheeler says Ken Wheeler, I've heard him say that the coil is an inside-out magnet. It's an it's a in, inside-out magnet. But it's, that's not quite right. Um, it seems to me more that the coil is behaving 
inversely or oppositely to the magnet. Okay, so here is another um, ferrocell picture where you see it looks more like the circular lines and here is a coil. So under the ferrocell, the magnet looks like um, the coil. Okay, under the under the influence of, so sorry. The ferrocell is showing the same at, under the influence of a magnet is showing the same field as a coil with the iron filings. So the iron filings with the coil look the same as the ferrocell with the magnet. Okay. So, to answer the question, how do parallel wires have the same geometry as a magnet? They don't. They actually have the inverse geometry, which is really interesting. I didn't know this before, and I don't know if anyone else has actually seen this before. But here it is all together. Okay, so the iron filings show the same field that the ferrocell shows, so the iron filings with a magnet show the same field as the ferrocell shows with the inductor and the ferrocell with the magnet shows the same thing as the or the opposite of the inductor with the iron filings. So truthfully, I don't know why. It seems that the inductor is the the dielectric the dielectric and the magnetic fields are flipped. Are flipped. They're flipped between the inductor and the magnet. They're flipped. So, um, truthfully, I don't know why. If anyone else can answer that question, I would really appreciate it. But this is just sort of a, hmm, I wonder what's going on here. And so when Ken says that the inductor is an inside out magnet, it's, it's more like the inductor is the reciprocal of a magnet. It's flipped, it's inverse, it's reciprocal. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that and let you think about it. And uh, if you have any suggestions as to why this would be like this, I would appreciate uh, your comment. Thank you very much.